I don't like the 350 games. I don't like the way the cabinet looks, and I don't want to pay for arcade that. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, everybody, just breathe. Ooh. After our last review video, the last 48 hours have been super, super interesting since we took home our Legends Ultimate arcade cabinet and uh, posted a review video that had about three wishes at the end of that 20 minute video. We said, hey, there's the three things that we absolutely want, our dream of what P-Dub and P-Dub's arcade loft, uh, to turn this cabinet into our favorite arcade cabinet in our home. And last night, during the middle of the night, a bombshell was dropped on us. And we got to talk about it because one of our wishes came true. That's right, baby. We're bringing our own ROMs. Woo! Alright guys, before we get started here, um, we got to give a couple quick shout outs. We got to shout out Retro Ralph, um, as well as Cool Toy, uh, during the middle of the night, uh, as well as very early this morning. I rolled out of bed, checked my phone, and I got some task notifications on my phone saying that they posted some videos where uh, the Legends Ultimate Cabinet will now let you um, uh, play your own uh, ROMs off your own USB stick. Um, and that's super exciting and thank you guys so much for that as well as thank you at games huge shout out to you for that And the fact that you did it so quickly the fact that you heard our feedback you released your cabinet We went out we bought your cabinet some of us uh, We bought the cabinet within a day or two of it hitting the shelves and you guys came out heard our feedback saying This is what we want and you gave us a beta uh, in order to uh, start making that dream a possibility um, quick disclosure of course uh, this is uh, only working right now for the uh, Sega Genesis uh, uh, console games. Obviously, um, this is something that At Games is going to be expanding on, and uh, hopefully we're going to get more uh, emulators and access to where our USB sticks will play our other ROMs. Sh huge shout out to those guys uh, for making this happen for all of us. Um, they, uh, I'll post links in the description below. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am super excited um, about this. So uh, let's kind of take a look at what became available to us uh, last night. One key item to note, guys, is they fixed the favorites. So um, as of last night, I could not save a game as a favorite, um, but this morning I gave it a shot seeing, hey, did they fix that? And that must have been one of the patches that got fixed. So now underneath my, apologies, now underneath my favorites category, uh, we now have Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot, see if they fixed it. If you guys saw my first video, it's it's pretty funny that, you know, within 24 hours, boom, it's been fixed. So let's try this. We're going to hit C favorite. So we're not getting a pop-up menu or anything. So at games, uh, again, additional feedback. I would love to see a quick pop-up that says game is now added to favorite so you know it worked. But let's hit our back button and let's check it out. Let's see if it's in there. And it's there. So the favorites is working. It just doesn't give you a confirmation message on the screen. Thank you so much, At Games, for fixing it. It is the little things. Um, taking a look, um, uh, one other thing I noticed, I, I couldn't tell. It, as of last night, high scores weren't saving. I would love to see the high scores get saved. Uh, that's, uh, I think, a necessity, especially if we're going to end up doing online leaderboards. Um, they've also added different inputs right here. This is all new. I haven't played with this stuff yet, but the most important feature is the add-on feature when you have a USB plugged in. So we got our USB plugged in and you click on it. And so on this USB, I, down, I uh, created the, uh, the files uh, for uh, a few Sega games because I wanted to give this a shot. You have to go game by game, and it's only in beta. 
So what's great is these are games that are not included on the system. They're on my USB drive and they do play from my original video. The more I've been playing on this machine, the less and less the aspect ratio bothers me. I mean, the screen is obviously a horizontal widescreen compared to the uh, square, uh, you know, aspect ratio screens. And yeah, it's nice that, you know, at games, <coughs> I'm sorry, not at games, RK 1UP uh, has the vertical screens and they fill up the whole board. But I was playing a bunch of games last night that I'm going to post a video on that are actually included on this machine. And, dude, there's some diamonds in the rough. I was having a blast. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, getting back to the main topic on hand, uh, we have our, our, K, our, our own personal ROMs on our USB uh, playing on the machine. And, you know, I absolutely love Battletoads. Uh, I know some guys are more partial to Turtles. Uh, but I absolutely love it. And they play and they look great. And everything plays fine. The screen is the right size. I mean, yeah, you don't have the pre-filled bezels that come with the games that are included. Sorry, I'm holding the camera with one hand. You don't have the pre-filled bezels, which by the way, as I was playing with the game, I was testing all kinds of games last night, guys. And some of the side art, some of the side art bezel work that they add here to fill in these spots of the screen are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so you know and everything works our, our joysticks work our buttons work couldn't be more excited obviously i died right there and obviously this is working for sega games only but you know our arcade net or i'm sorry at, ga at games <laughs> is going to end up giving us uh access to you know putting our the rest of our nintendo super nintendo and i would assume it's only natural that they give us a MAME emulator in order to get our games uh, going. So now what's cool too is check this out is even with the games that you preload, when you, you, can, you can pause the games, which is nice, um, but the scanline filter is still available. And what's cool too is the scanline filter on certain games looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference, but you can turn it on and off for every single game on the machine, whether it's an arcade net game, whether it's a, uh, uh, or a, a game that's preloaded on the system or one of your ROM games. And when you, um, when you, uh, uh, you know, play it, as you can see, it gives you a kind of that classic retro look. When I was testing games last night, some of the older games obviously looked better with the scanline filter on. Some of them didn't look as good because they're on an LCD screen. And even adding a scanline filter, it, it kind of they kind of look shoddy, kind of like uh, Star Wars: Return of the Jedi on the arcade one-up cabinet, which you know I think that scanline filter looks terrible on that game on that cabinet. Uh, whereas on here, as you can see with the Battle Toads, it you know it honestly. You know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good for, you know, a 16-bit Sega game that you were probably playing on your CRT TV. So, and then, of course, you can uh, just get out of the game at any time. Now, all right, so a couple items to note. So when you follow the steps, I just want to point out, this Sega emulator that they gave us to use on our... Uh, machine here and on our you you know to create the UCE files here it doesn't appear to be compatible with every game so for instance these are the games that I loaded and as of right now today uh, Double Dragon Battletoads works Double Dragon works uh, Streets of Rage works Knuckles let's try this so that one works okay so Road Rash does not work. You get an error message. And I'm using just the normal Sega bin file uh, that you can pretty much find anywhere on the internet. Um, it's the same one I've used in every single one of my Raspberry Pi builds. So there might have to be some tinkering uh, that we need to do uh, uh, on the back end to get certain ROMs to play. But the majority of them um, are working. So, so Sonic and Knuckles works, Battletoads works, Double Dragon works. Streets of Rage works, you know, let's try, I tried Super Street Fighter this morning, and this is all you get. So that, that particular bin file is not working with the emulator that they have us put on our USB stick. 
Unfortunately, there's not a way yet to batch and just put a ton of games on there and to scrape a bunch of um, game titles. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, box art. There's not a way to scrape a bunch of box art like you do on a Raspberry Pi, and there's not a way to batch, create, a bu you know, move all the files or all the game files. So you do have to go game by game. Uh, so it does take, you know, probably about two minutes per game uh, to get it going. Like the first one took me about four minutes, and then after that, it, you know, because you have all the windows open, you're able to quickly uh, find a piece of box art, convert it from a JPEG to a PNG file, um, and then obviously upload the ROM and all that stuff using the tool. Uh, here, here, here's kind of my final thought on, on this, is the fact that if you're in the market to have an arcade machine in your home, and let's say you're limited on budget, you're limited on space, uh, things of that nature, but you want to have a lot of games. Um, you know, you could buy one arcade one up and mod the hell out of it, Raspberry Pi or, you know, Pandora's box, however you see fit, adding 60 and one boards, and you'll have one thing with a bunch of games on it. Um, or if you're also looking for the ability to add more games, take games away, as well as have the ability to, you know, hop on the arcade net and play games that you don't even own, because uh, this is just going to keep getting better and better. Um, and as well as have the ability to, um, you know, put your own games on the machine so you don't have to spend extra money uh, uh, to, uh, to source these games. This, this is the way to go. So if, I, if, this, if you're looking for one machine, a true multi-cade experience, this is fantastic. I mean, if Arcade 1UP released a machine next year and said, hey, we're adding internet and all that kind of stuff, we all know we would buy the machine because we've all wanted those features since day one. And here we are, At Games has given it to us. I am super excited about it. The more I've actually played with it, instead of just focusing on the appearance of it, um, I, it it's, it's great. It's great. And it... I, I couldn't be more pleased right now with everything that they're doing for us, and, and I can't wait to see what other patches and upgrades come out, what other uh, emu uh, core core devices they're going to give us so we can play our own ROMs. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, if you're looking to, you know, hey, I want to own a bunch of machines. If I'm looking to own a ton of machines, I want to have a whole arcade room just like I do up here. I have an entire arcade loft. You know, Arcade 1UP may be the way to go because you're going to get multiple machines at a cheaper price. I mean, this thing is five, $600, depending on if you get it at Sam's Club or Walmart. So the decision is yours. Are you looking for a single machine that does everything, limited space, limited budget? Or are you looking for, uh, I want to have a bunch of machines because I'm, I'm having a party room, a basement, an arcade loft, an arcade room, you know, the choice is yours. And if you can afford more than one of these, get more than one of these. And if you want to have both like me, get both. There's nothing wrong with supporting both companies. And I, I'm, I'm loving, loving what I'm seeing right now. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that, you know, we gave them feedback and said, hey, this needs fixed, and they fixed it. Favorites is working. Uh, the fact that we said, hey, these couple of games look weird, patches are going in. Um, and the fact that they opened this up for us is amazing. So out of our three wishes, if you saw my original video, I had three wishes. Wish number one, um, give us the ability to have online leaderboards. I would absolutely love to be able to see, because we all have, this is all a, a Windows Server 2016 virtual PC type experience. I would love to see, you know, P-Dubs Arcade Loft, because you create your user ID. And I would love to see my score saved, and as well as yours, and say, you know, who scored the best Pac-Man, who's got the highest Galaga score in the entire world who uses this machine? So online leaderboards, I would love to see. Uh, the wish number two was utilizing the arcade net feature, and since these are uh, running through the virtual PC, give us the ability to play against each other. But wish number three was, and probably the most important, give us the ability to play our own games on your machine. And the beta has come out. Obviously, it's in the early phase. More to come on this, more stuff. This is just going to get better and better. We're going to be able to play more systems. We're going to be able to play more games. So wish number three is coming true. Wishes number one and two. At Games, can you give it to me? Give it to me, At Games. Is it a must-buy today? Yes, absolutely. If you're looking for this kind of multi-cade machine in your home.
All right, guys, that's it. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more videos. We're going to be focusing on a lot of stuff. We got the Marvel Limited Edition cabinet arrives today. So I'll probably do a quick just two or three minute video on that. Um, and then, of course, um, we're going to uh, talk about uh, the At Games machine more. We got all the dongles. We're going to be doing reviews on those, as well as there's a bunch of games I actually played that come with this machine that it's like diamonds in the rough. And they're actually pretty damn good. And they look great and they play great on this machine. And I want to show those to you. So if you want to see that stuff, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below. And uh, that way I can bring you this content. All right, guys, you have a great day. And uh, you guys have an ultimate Halloween.